What's up, wrestling fans? It's the Emerald Enthusiast, the co-host of the Wayback Wrestling Mania podcast. Here with a look at the Target exclusive AEW Unrivaled Collection figure of Sammy Guevara. I picked up this figure on deep clearance. I thought it would make for a very interesting review. So let's go ahead and get a look at the package details. Both sides of the packaging feature the AEW logo. On the top of the packaging, there's a sticker that says only at Target. This is the first one that I've seen that has the metallic red as part of the packaging. It says unrivaled collection. We get a shot of Sammy Guevara on the back with the replica autograph. The figure comes with three alternate hands, the TNT Championship belt, and an All Elite Wrestling microphone. And now it's time to bust this figure out of the package and see what's inside. And here we see Sammy Guevara out of the package and ready to rumble. I do have a couple of minor criticisms of this figure, but for the most part, I think fans of Sammy Guevara and AEW will be very happy with this figure. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at the loose details now. He has this clear rubber band holding the belt to the torso. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this. Let's have a look at the various accessories now. Here are the sunglasses. These are very small, so treat these with care. Here is the AEW microphone. I really appreciate when the figures are packaged with these. He comes with three alternate hands, and I understand the two fists. I do appreciate those. I'm not quite sure why the third hand is a gripping hand because the one that is already on the figure is basically a gripping hand too. It's just slightly more relaxed. Of course, the most prominent accessory is the TNT Championship belt. And there's a little bit of a sloppy paint job here, but really any figure that comes with a title is worth a purchase price just for the belt alone. If you are into trading figures, collectors are always interested in figures that have belts. Sometimes you'll get good trades just for the belts. Let's have a look at the lower body now. The paint applications are really magnificent on this. I like the wrinkles that have been sculpted in. And this spider motif deco looks really good. The red really pops. Good detail back here. Again, they keep that spider motif going. You can move the knee pads up and down a little bit to help you with knee articulation. There's accurate musculature here on the quadriceps. So no complaints in the visuals department. In terms of articulation, you can get the ankles to move backwards and forward. There's pivoting at the ankle. Again, you can move these knee pads up and down to help you articulate the double jointed knees. He has the quadricep swivel, which will help you with posing. So I appreciate that. You can get him to kick forward that much and you can get him to step back. So I always appreciate that. And there's a considerable amount of articulation out from the hips. So you can get him into a very deep side kicking pose. And I should also mention that he has this pivoting at the top of his boot, which will help you get him into various stances, but then the paint applications no longer line up. So that does look a little weird. Now we'll have a look at the trunks and the torso. Intricate deco here on the trunks. As you can clearly see, it says Sammy Guevara. You can make that out. Again, there's the spider web motif. The torso is accurate. You know, he's a normal-sized guy, just very in shape. I think there's a slight difference in shading between the upper torso and the lower torso. Another thing I'd like to point out here, in terms of articulation, 
the lower torso, the waist is very tight, so be very careful. I never like to force joints that feel like they don't want to move well. But as far as the upper torso goes, as you can see, you can get him to crunch forward. You can get him to rock back. There's not too big of a gap between the upper torso and the lower torso. But be careful when you are articulating the waist because, again, it feels like this could be a design issue. Let's have a look at the arms now. There's good articulation at the wrists. I like the way these wrist, I don't know if they're wrist bands or wrist wraps, but either way they look good. And in terms of both size and definition, I think these arms are accurate to Sammy Guevara. In terms of articulation, his hands are on hinged pegs. There's double jointed elbows. It's a little bit lacking. The two parts of the arms kind of press against one another. You can get his shoulder to go out this far from the torso. There's 360 degrees of rotation, and there is a biceps swivel. And if you'd like to know if you can get his arms to go out and back in the big power pose, you can certainly do that. So now I'll put this pair of fists on the figure. This pair of hands is sculpted well, and they have the same freedom of movement as the other pair of hands do. Let's have a look at the head sculpts now, and Jazzwares really captured the likeness of Sammy Guevara here. The tongue lolling from his mouth is a nice touch. I've noticed him do that a lot on AEW shows. Good skin tone. The hair couldn't have been easy to capture because he has that kind of unusual hairstyle. I don't know what you call it, but I think Jazzwares did a good job in replicating that here. The head moves well. You can get him to look up. You can get him to look down. You can get it to move side to side freely. There isn't any head tilting, and I really would have appreciated that. But overall, the articulation is acceptable. Now I'll go ahead and put the sunglasses on the head sculpt. And they don't exactly fit flush, but I've seen a lot worse when it comes to this type of accessory. So now I'll put the belt around his waist. And unfortunately, even at the tightest adjustment, the belt is very loose on his waist. If I were going to keep this figure, which I probably won't, I'll probably trade it. I think I would be more disappointed in that than anything else with this figure. On the positive side of things, the alternate hand does have a little bit more space for you to insert the belt in it. So that gives you the option of having him hold the belt over his head like this. I certainly hope you have enjoyed this review. If so, please like, subscribe, and tell a friend to do the same. Stay tuned for some articulation shots, and also remember to catch me on the Multiverse Musings vidcast, available right here on YouTube. And I'll be back to the internet with more pro-wrestling-related content soon. But until we meet again, this has been the Emerald Enthusiast, and thanks for watching.